Hey, hey, this is Ronnie. I just fed the cats and everything. They're happy. And, uh, yeah, I got all my stuff in two hands in the house. And I actually had a little surprise that I'll, I'll make it over here. Yeah, getting this. And my car's still out here. It's still light out. But the temperature, I got a memory temp thermometer front and rear it said it got up to 38 degrees here today so yeah it's chilly but it is 44 in in here in my garage before i pull my car in i turned on the overhead heater which i didn't really need so i'm gonna unplug that before i forget it's just manual <laughs> and it works but didn't need it but there's the motor but this is this kills me came in this box okay came in this box you know it's a deep box it's padded okay that motor weighs I believe 79 pounds this well, I watch people in their 20s and 30 okay I'm 56 years old and I've been broken and bashed and have screws holding my shoulders together and been dead once and been hit by semis and broken and bitched that weren't my that wasn't my fault. But that motor, that's the 13 horse predator. And uh, I got it out of the box. These dudes that are in their 20s and 30s cannot take this motor. And it's not bolted to any wood or anything in the bottom. Uh, if I could turn on my light. There's not any, it's just sitting in the bottom. There's the other tool I don't want to lose. Oh, that's the tools I got. I got the paperwork right up here. But yeah, because it was right on top. And uh, some kind of, oh yeah, a couple jets. I know what those are for. But yeah, they couldn't get that motor, this motor, out of that box. You cut the straps, you open the damn thing, and you pick it up and set it on the floor. They had to cut the box open on the sides, okay? They couldn't even just freaking pick it up. And I've been working all day busting my butt. And I just cut the top open, picked it up, and sat on the floor. <laughs> oh, talk about pussification of men in America. Bunch of wimpy ass puss cake. Boo, I need to call a friend or a neighbor in town to help me lift this thing up. Guess what? There's 80 awkward pounds I just picked up right out of the box. And if it did, it did stick to the bottom, so I'll show anybody. Once you get something out of a box, a trick, you got two feet, right? You got one here. You got one here. You take your feet, put them against the side of the box. Take the other foot over here, put it against the side of the box. Squeeze your feet together, get your back and stuff square, you know, squat your legs outside of the box like this. You get the cardboard out of the way. Yeah, here's how you do it. You move that, you do this. You squat your knees down like I'm my butt, like I'm going to sit on a toilet, and I just picked it right out of this big old hole and held on it with my knees and my feet. And it's sitting right there. <laughs> Pussy ass, pussy ass people. I can't believe it. They can't even get this motor out of a box. And they're just doing an unboxing. Makes you think how bright they are when they're going to go fire it up. Which, oh yeah, their videos are hilarious. Don't believe shit you see on YouTube unless you know who you're watching. It's I just have the biggest laughs. YouTube and uh, doing stuff like this is like my comedy channel. Because, you know... <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. That's how you do it. I just showed you the trick. I didn't think it, you know, but that's why I'm special. I have a disorder. I have a brain that works and thinks. You use your knees and your feet to hold the box down, and you lift the damn thing up. And if you can't lift up that damn 80-pound motor out of that box, even if you're 56... <laughs> Well then, uh, quit showing off to the neighbors and you might as well cancel your membership to the Y because it sure as hell ain't doing any good. <laughs> All right? <laughs> oh, I'm just having a great day. Oh, and I got a surprise inside. I'll show you in a little bit too. Yeah, that I ordered just, a, yeah, oh, I'll explain it.
I'll try to make it really short. But yeah, that's how you do it, all right? Snowflakes and pussies. You can't lift the 80-pound motor out of a box. Go buy one pre-built with this, everything on it and, and pay the immaculate dollars you do because I'm sure what you're paying for a month, a membership at the Y to look like you actually go work out, you're not really doing, and you ain't doing squat. <laughs> so take that money and, uh, yeah, buy a, a lift or something for you. There you go. All right, man. Love you. Peace, love, half a heart, half a heart. I'm going to razz anybody I want because I got proof I, I know how to do it. And I have a disorder. Ooh, because I'm outnumbered by idiots. <laughs> so they get to tell me I'm the one with the disorder. There you go. All right. Love y'all. I'll be back. Uh, I got another little quick video <laughs> to make in the house. What else showed up? Oh, that's cool. A little mailbag deal. All right, love you. Y'all be safe. You know, I'm just razzing people. I don't mean anything personally to anyone. It's just my point of view, and I love to joke around and have fun while I'm doing what I'm doing, what I enjoy, all right? So don't take, you want to take this personal and, uh, you know, hate mail or hate comments, you know, send them to Trapper Donnie, some, some number at, I don't remember, but yeah, send it to my twin brother, not me. I'm not here harming anybody. I'm just having some fun, yeah, in the cold, in the shop, and what I'm going to do and design it, and I'll show you. Yeah, I have a disorder. I'll show you a disorder. It's called totally awesome disorder, <laughs> but I am a freak, and, I, you know, people just don't understand me. All right. Love you all. Have a good one. Mwah! And no matter how crap your day is, always remember. Don't go to bed and with that shit dragging you down because tomorrow's always a new day, all right? You know, I know there are people out there still hurting. And, yeah, I was. I'm doing good now. It's, I've been there, done that more than once. Tomorrow's always a new day. New day. New day. See, I try to talk too fast. I wanted to say tomorrow is always a new day, man or ma'am. Okay? But it is. Even though it's hard to believe, you, you, you just got to have faith that you'll be able to do what you can do to get through what you do. And it's amazing once you believe in yourself what you can do. Don't listen to everybody else that, see, that says you have a disorder and you're wrong and blah, blah, because you don't fit in, because you're outnumbered. Be you and then learn how to use the special abilities you that the one with the disorder, with the freak, that you're outnumbered by, so they single you out as you have something wrong. Learn to use that power and what your ability is and use it against them. And then you can go tell them to pound sand right up there. Yeah, this hole. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I do. All right. Cool. But you got to make sure you're correct at it before you tell them to go pound sand because if if you can't back up what you say, you're going to be in a world of hurt. So don't make up shit. Just when you know you can whoop them, tell them to go pound sand and prove it. There you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Uh, just tomorrow's a new day. Don't let shit get you down, all right? And some days go correct, like today. Yeah. Love y'all. I will be back. Ciao.